The protesters did disrupt traffic again today, but there has been no violence. And in fact, we heard attorneys for the family say basically the family does not want people to dishonor Dontre Hamilton's name by resorting to violence. Yeah, they said that just doesn't help anyone. Our Katie Crow, they're live at Red Arrow Park to show us that impact. Katie. Mike and Carol, most business owners I spoke with say they understand the desire of protesters who support Hamilton to want to get out and demonstrate. But they say the protesting has really had an impact on their business this holiday season. Ivor Reppins owns a subway near Grand Avenue Mall, which has repeatedly been the epicenter of downtown protesting. Well, it prevents people from coming downtown. It's quite an inconvenience when you end up closing the streets, the freeway. Uh, it's very disrespectful. I, I find it a real nuisance, and a, it, it's got to stop. He says it's hard enough without these demonstrations to have a healthy business downtown. I, I'm overloaded as it is, and when stuff like this happens, it just hurts me. Penny Zaworski says many businesses shut down today in anticipation of protesting. Today, my landlord had said, you know, you just may want to close early, lock up. Um, some of the people that have offices upstairs have already left. She kept her optical store open and says customers have still been willing to come downtown. She's one of the few business owners who say the protesting does not bother her. We've heard them, they've shouted, but as far as like disrupting, pushing or any of that, I didn't see any of that. Now the Starbucks and the ice rink here at Red Arrow Park have been closed all day. They shut down, decided not to open at all. We're told the ice rink will reopen tomorrow at 11 a.m., but protesters plan to be here again tomorrow night at 5 p.m. Reporting live downtown, Katie Crowther, today's TMJ4. Yeah, they are not backing down. Thank you, Katie.